We have been following how some Metro Atlanta restaurants benefited from reviews by TikTok influencer Keith Lee, but what about the restaurants whose reviews weren't so positive? There's been a lot of talk about this on social oh, yeah. media. Yeah, Teresa Voles found out how these restaurants are dealing with this backlash. The Milk and Honey restaurant wasn't even reviewed by influencer Keith Lee, but they received death threats because people got it mixed up with the real Milk and Honey, which is 20 minutes away. As a restaurant owner, Devin Green is used to reviews. It's already a hard industry and uh, reviews are good, positive or negative. But he wants to earn them. This is the Milk and Honey restaurant, not to be confused with the real Milk and Honey, which got a not so great review from viral food critic Keith Lee last week. And when it started affecting business, he had to say something. Something. I'm bombed from negative comments, death threats, threats to blow the building up, threats to end our business. People were calling our phones. It was a nightmare. Lee's reviews also sparked conversations about Atlanta restaurant culture, rules and policies not seen in other cities. Green says despite the grass wall, that's not how they roll or waffle. We actually allow reservations. We have takeout to go. We use Uber Eats. We do DoorDash. We actually uh, employ a person just to take, take, in, take out orders. The Atlanta Breakfast Club, though, explains why these policies Lee brought up, such as reservations and no call-ins, are important. We set guidelines to expedite service because we have so many guests and customers that come to Atlanta. We just want as many people as possible to be able to share it. Anthony Sanders' restaurant didn't get the best review either, but he's taking it in stride as he says most of their reviews are positive. I didn't feel that what he said was offensive. It was a, a perspective from someone coming from Detroit, coming to Atlanta for the first time. Sanders says the Atlanta Breakfast Club has been around for a decade, one of the pioneer black-owned breakfast restaurants in Atlanta. Lee put out a video discouraging fans from spreading hate. If anything, Sanders hopes the reviews can be used to bring restaurants together. It allows us to observe and adjust. Will we do things better? Of course. Come in and know for yourself, because I do believe that we have some of the best guest service. In Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. Hey, you can go out there and try them for yourself. All right.